Hey Capricorns, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Capricorn, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Here we go. Messages, please, for Capricorns. What do they need to hear and know? Ooh, we have the Nine of Pentacles that just flew out. Capricorns. We have the Tower in reverse. Scorpio's energy is here. And something else flipped over. Temperance is here. The uh, card for Sagittarius. Could be dealing with those signs. Could have those signs in your chart. Just making sure nothing else flipped over. Okay. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Lots of focus on yourself this week, you guys. Nine of Pentacles, looking good, smelling good, working out. You're in the gym, working out at home. Some of you are working out outdoors. I feel that energy. Maybe you're hiking. Some of you are really taking care of your skin. I'm getting like skincare. Like maybe you're doing like more like facials, face masks, that energy coming through. Getting your nails done, hair done, getting a haircut. Some of you guys are really like investing in yourselves, okay? And it's like, you know, I, I'm, I really could do bad all by myself. <laughs> I feel that energy. It's like, I could do bad all by myself. You know, I'm good, you know? I, I'm dressing better. I'm sleeping better. The tower is in reverse. I'm not dealing with no BS, okay? I'm, I'm not dealing with no headache, <laughs> I'm taking my time in life, okay? It's like, ugh, I'm just taking my time, honey. I'm taking my time, darling. Leave me alone. Whew, okay. <laughs> Two of pentacles. Y'all know I'm silly. Two of pentacles. Yeah. Ooh, and see, somebody is worried about you, though. They worried about you. Now, remember, always keep an open mind as the cards come out. This could be you or your person's energy that I'm picking up. The stories could be flipped or reversed. So put the characters where they go for your personal situation. Ace of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Somebody worried about you? <laughs> Woo! Somebody thinking, uh, who is Capricorn sleeping with? <laughs> is Capricorn getting it from somebody else? Ooh! Somebody all up in your Kool-Aid worried about you and what you're doing. <laughs> Somebody very focused on you with the Eight of Pentacles. Hang man could be a Pisces for some of you. Oh, they don't know. Seven of Cups, Five of Wands. They don't know if there's competition. Someone is very focused on this. They could be spying, watching. Give them a show, boo. <laughs> If they gonna watch, give them a shout. Okay. What is the... Uh, Y'all, I'm silly. I told you. What's the nine of pentacles? <laughs> Divine spirit, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Ten of swords. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some of you are, are really getting over something or someone you're healing. What's this nine of pentacles for Capricorn? Divine spirit, Holy, Holy Spirit. Yeah, four of swords. Healing. Yeah. It's like, well, I don't have to communicate. I'm just, you know... I'm in my energy and I'm healing because I know my worth. So I'm putting an end and a stop to all pain, all bullshit ass excuses. And, you know, I'm focused on myself. I'm healing myself. Mm -hmm. That's why I said some of you are sleeping better. Okay. Mm. Show me this energy here. Yeah. Queen of Wands with the Eight of Cups here. Woo! You chose to walk. A lot of you chose to walk away from somebody. Yeah. You got into the energy of this Queen of Wands, boo. <laughs> I told you. That fire stick is lit up and is not in a in a sexual way. It, that fire stick is lit up for protection. Because you're like, I'd be damned if I get hurt again. Eight of Cups. I'm walking. Yep. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, <laughs> I'm walking. Okay, eight of, look, okay, I was about to call that the eight of swords. 
Tower reversed. What is this tower in reverse? Tower in reverse. Ooh, two shot out. What is this? Seven of cups reversed. Okay. With the six of pentacles reversed. Yeah. You're like, if, if it's going to bring confusion, if I'm going to be an option, if someone is going to try to breadcrumb me, I am not getting involved in a tower moment. Some of you saved yourself and your kids from a tower moment. Woo! Whoa! With that Six of Cups energy. Ah, uh, from this emperor. Mm. Baby daddy, baby mama, somebody who could try to control the narrative, the situation. I also feel like this person is remembering, yeah, Six of Cups. That's remembering the good old days. Like, <laughs> reminiscing and thinking about you know, hey, I did have this awesome connection. We have something. They may be trying to remind you of that. Give me one more for the tower reverse. One more for the tower reverse. Okay. That was one that flipped over the hangman. We have the three of swords with the eight of pentacles here. Yeah. Ooh, someone, I feel like someone could still be hanging in this energy hanging around sad and you know wanting to fix this you know you guys <sighs> yeah look at that that's that person's energy four of wands king and queen of pentacles still thinking about the two of you being together long term ten of pentacles three of pentacles you know whatever we need to do let's work it out whatever we need to do three of pentacles you know, do we still have a chance? Will of Fortune. Let, let's see if we can sit down and work it out. You know, do we need therapy? Do we need counseling? You know, do we need to go see somebody, a therapist, you know, a marriage counselor? Some, I feel that energy. Someone is like pulling out all the stops to fix this because they miss you. They feel heartbroken. Uh-huh. This person could be hiding heartbreak by digging themselves into work like burying themselves into work and hiding heartbreak. You see how that is? So they could, you could like see that this person is always working and you may think that, oh, they, they're they doing fine. They're not even worried about me. Nope, you're wrong. <laughs> they're worried. Worried sick. Yeah, and they try to work or be around maybe co-workers or other people to try to forget or not feel. But they're reminiscing. They're thinking about you, missing you. What is this temperance energy? Four Capricorns. Something flipped. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles keeps wanting to show up there. Oh, they're waiting. What is this? Oh, what is this temperance? Four of Wands. Yeah. You guys. <laughs> Did something else flip over? Okay. What is this temperance? Give me one more. For, okay, for temperance, hermit, Virgo is here. Ooh, could be dealing with the Virgo for some of you. Or a Sag, if I didn't already say that. This person, <laughs> honey, they may be in hermit mode, but let me tell you, this person is sad and waiting with that temperance energy. It's like, you know, Capricorn, they may not want to talk to me. I have a cup. They may not want to talk to me, so I'm just going to sit and wait, okay? I'm going to sit and wait to bring this back together. Four of Wands. I'm in hermit mode. I'm researching Capricorn. I'm watching their every move. I'm watching everything that they're doing. I'm waiting for Capricorn. I am I will wait. This person is stubborn, but, you know, you could think that that's good or bad. But this person, they want what they want with you. And it's like, you know... Even if you, you move forward and you reject them, they're still going to try to say something to you, okay? With the Four of Cups, Page of Cups. You may move on and this person may still be like, I don't care. I still want to talk. I still want to say something. I still want to apologize. You know, they may be trying to give you time, okay? Show me that hermit. What is that hermit energy for Capricorns this week? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What do we have? Look at that. Knight of Wands. <laughs> Two of Wands, the King of Wands, honey. <laughs> How? Give me just a second, you guys. 
Alrighty, Capricorns, I had to uh, stop and answer the door. So, so sorry for that uh, little, you know, hiccup there. But yeah, with that hermit, to clarify the hermit, we have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands, and that King of Wands. That energy right there is like someone wanting to know, like, Will you allow me to come in? Will you allow me to show you that I've leveled up? I've gone from a knight of wands to a king of wands. Will you show me that I've been in hermit mode working on myself? Can I prove to you? Can I show you? I want to show you better than I can tell you. This person wants to show you, okay? Because the king of wands takes action. But will you allow me to do that, to show you that I am a king of pentacles, that I can be loyal, that I have the ability to do that? See, I see the king and queen of wands here. You do have passion for this person, very attracted to this person, okay? But it's like you have to reluctantly walk away. It's not like you walked away, you know, um, like with so much glee and joy and everything. It's like, man, like, oh, I have to walk away from this person. And it could have taken a lot out of you to do that, to make that tough decision. Yeah. Show me how this person is feeling toward Capricorn. Okay. What do we have? King of Pentacles in reverse. We have the King of Cups. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. We have the Empress. Ooh. They're not sure if you're, you're going to want this, but they're coming in. They want to show you that they've transformed that they've, they're not just going to talk about it. They're going to be about it. They're going to show you their emotions. That's why the King of Pentacles is in reverse. Ace of Pentacles. This is how they feel. They want to transform this. Okay. Show me that death card there. Yeah. Strength. They know it's going to be hard to work on this ending. They are regretful. Yeah. Five of Cups. Three of Wands. They're willing to wait. Yeah. To start the cycle over. Okay. Wanting to heal this. Aquarius is here. Okay. How is Capricorn feeling about this person? How is Capricorn? Okay. We have the devil energy. Your energy. And nine of cups reversed. Oof. <laughs> oh. You feel like it's a bad idea. <laughs> you feel like it's a bad idea. But honey, let me tell you. You still remember that passion too. Ten of Cups with the Ace of Cups. Seven of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. Yes. Capricorn, you still feel a, a strong pull with this person. Two of Cups. There it is. You still feel it. Yeah, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You still feel that strong connection to this person. No, you know, they're not perfect. No, you know, everything is not going to be peachy king or go exactly as planned this hasn't been going exactly as planned but you still for that two of cups energy with this person you still love this person i see it you still love them okay and with that devil energy and the nine of cups reversed you could still be very much so angry with this person but that doesn't mean that you don't love them okay they could have pissed you off and put you in the nine of cups reverse energy where you feel like this is not a wish fulfilled, but you still love this person. Potential outcome for this week between Capricorns and this person. Potential outcome for this week. What's this? Five of swords. Potential outcome for this week. Knight of cups. Potential outcome for this week for Capricorn and this person. Whoa, that's everything. Okay. Well, the... Okay. Yeah. A knight of swords with the knight of pentacles in reverse and the two of pentacles. Okay. So someone's still trying to figure out how to come in. Okay. I don't want to move too slow because Capricorn may get away from me. Two of pentacles. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Lots of knights energy. Okay. I feel like this person is getting ready to come in with an offer, but they're trying to strategize how exactly do I do it? But I don't want to take too long because I may get blocked. <laughs> but also, I feel like this person with the seven of wands and the lovers, this person is willing to stand their ground and fight for this. They're going to fight for you. Five of wands. Yeah. Six of wands. They're going to come in and fight for this. They are. 
Ace of uh, Pentacles with the High Priestess, it's like their intuition is nudging them to do it. Spirit is nudging this person to make things right with you. Okay? Any other insight that you can give me for this situation with Capricorns and this person? Any other insight that you can give me? Okay. We have Girl with the Snake. It says, Empath and Narcissist Paradigm being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. Okay. So you guys, you may feel like, okay, I'm with a snake person and you were possibly with a narcissistic type person where it was all about them. I feel like this person is willing to admit their faults and say, you know what? I messed this up and I did this and I did that, you know, whatever it'll be for your personal situation. But this person, they like you. Yeah. I feel like they want to start over with you. What else? Ascending. Look at that transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. This person is getting prepared to come in. They're preparing to be with you. Getting rid of that snake-like behavior, preparing to come in. Girl talk. They want to talk to you. They see that you're having fun and like uh, spending time with friends. Some of you happily single. This person is watching you, I feel. Yeah, and the more they watch you, the more passionate they become. Look at that. Passion flew out. And then we had soulmates and not enough there. Yeah, they realized this was not enough. It's not enough to just have, look at that, this twin flame soulmate energy. Twin flame soulmates. It's not enough to just have that. This person needed to put in the work, needed to put in the action behind their words. And now they're realizing that with that king of wands that I showed you. Okay. I feel like this person ran at one point from this connection. They were not ready. They had a fear of intimacy. They listened to their ego. And now this person is realizing, you know what? I have to drop the ego and I got to be real with my Capricorn. Yeah. Advice. Advice. Meditation brings answers. Y'all get along, pray, meditate. And see what spirit is saying concerning this connection with you and this person. Meditating by yourself, you will get a lot of answers. Quiet your spirit and see what spirit is saying to you. Not the right time. Yeah, because I see that someone is still strategizing on how to bring the offer in. But like I said, they don't want to take too much time because they feel like you might get away. This person, I feel like when they do come in, they want you to make um, a decision on if you want this or not. I feel like they're nervous to do so, okay? So yeah, this person is working on themselves. Remember I said they're preparing for union? That is the ascending card. This person preparing for union. So give them a little bit of time, but this person is trying to come in the right way. Not the wrong way. They're trying to come in the right way this time. Anything else? Yeah, trust. Trust spirit. Trust that spirit has your back, you guys. Because something is being worked out here. Trust that spirit has your back in this situation. You know, whether you choose to stay with this person and you know, or whether you choose to move on. You need to trust, okay? Because I see that this person is about to step all the way up and they will fight for your attention. Alrighty, you guys, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you guys in your next reading, Capricorn. Take care. Bye.